beginning on page 78. The hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for such the Father seeks to worship him. Now using the words found on page 79 and kneeling as you are able, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your right. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Please join me in saying, the Benite found on page 82 of the Book of Common Prayer. This is the Benite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his and he made it. And his, his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today we would hearken to his voice. Our appointed psalm this morning is selected verses from Psalm 45. This begins on page 647 in the Book of Common Prayer. We will read the first two verses on page 647, and then turning the page, read 7 through 10 on 648. This is Psalm 45, the first two verses, and then 7 through 10. Please respond by half verse. My heart is stirring with a noble song. Let me recite what I have fashioned for the king. You are the fairest of men. Great is your rest, because God has blessed you in Your throne, O God, endures forever and ever. The center of righteousness is the center of your kingdom. You love righteousness and hate me. Therefore, God, your God has anointed you. All your garments are fragrant with myrrh, aloes, and cassia. And the King's daughters stand among the ladies of the court. Your right hand is queen, adorned with Then return to the glory on page 84. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please be seated for the lesson. The Old Testament lesson is the Song of Solomon, which is found on 692 in the Pew Bible. Song of Solomon. Thank you. 
the voice of my beloved. Look, he comes, heaping upon their mountain, leaping upon the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle or a young stag. Look, there he stands behind our wall, gazing in at the windows, looking through the lattice. My beloved speaks and says to me, Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. For now the winter is past, the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines are in blossom. They give forth fragrance. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 10, the second song of Solomon, is found on pages 86 to 87 in the Book of Common Prayer. We will read in unison. Second Song of Isaiah, page 86. Seek the Lord while he wills his eye. Call upon him who draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will give their passion. And to our God, for he will reach his pardon for my thoughts and not your thoughts. Nor my ways and your ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and snow fall on the heavens, and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating. So is my word that goes forth from my mind. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed. And, and prosper that which I have sent. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second reading is from James, which is found in the Pew Bibles on page 246 to 247. Every generous act of giving, with every perfect gift, is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. In fulfillment of his own purpose, he gave us birth by the word of truth, so that we would become a kind of first fruits of his creatures. You must understand this, my beloved. Let everyone be quick to listen, slow to speak, Slow to anger, for your anger does not produce God's righteousness. Therefore, rid yourselves of all sordidness and rank growth of wickedness, and welcome with meekness the implanted word that is the power to save your souls. But be doers of the word, and not merely hearers who deceive themselves. For if any are hearers of the word and not doers, they are like those who look at themselves in a mirror. For they look at themselves and on going away immediately forget what they were like. But those who look into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and persevere, being not hearers who forget but doers who act, they will be blessed in their doing. If any think they are religious and do not bridle their tongues but deceive their hearts, their religion is worthless. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself sustained by the word, by the word, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please turn to page 94 in the Book of Common Prayer. For the song of the redeemed, let us read Canticle 19 together. O ruler of the universe, 
Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O oh, King of all the ages. Who can fail to do your homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because you have judged my holy Lord and Lord is the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now. third lesson is from Mark, which is found on pages 42 to 43 in the Pew Bible. A reading from Mark. When the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around him, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands. That is, without washing them. For the Pharisees, and all the Jews, do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the tradition of the elders. And they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash it. And there are also many other traditions that they observe. The washing of cups, pots, bronze kettles. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? He said to them, Isaiah prophesies rightly about you hypocrites, as it is written. This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God that hold to human tradition. Then he called the crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand there is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile, but the things that come out are what defile. For it is from within, from the human heart, that evil intentions come. Fornication, theft, murder, adultery, avarice, wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, envy, slander, pride, folly. All these evil things come from within and they defile a person. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. But do not neglect to do good and to share what you have for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. The offertory hymn is number 372. Praise to the living God.
us now affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed, which is found on page 96 in the Book of Common Prayer. This is the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come in and judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Using suffrages A on page 97. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let the people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only you can be their Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us by the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Through your sake, O God, Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Created us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us through your Holy Spirit. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the, the love of your name, increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and bring forth in us the fruit of good works. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O oh God, you make us glad in the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such blessing through our worship of you that the week to come may be spent in your favor through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that, having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, uh, <clears throat> that, having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, May not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord God, Almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We only pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your Holy Church, that in their vocation and ministry, and may truly and devoutly serve you, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray, 
on your servants Laura, Melissa, Noni, Charles, Christiana, David, and Jerry as they begin another year. Grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen their trust in your goodness all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We remember in the rising cycle of prayer, St. Paul's Clinton and the Trinity Dinner. We pray for all in our prayer list and all we hold in our hearts. At the College for Focus Prayer and Gratitude, we pray in thanksgiving for all who offer their talents and gifts to St. Thomas for its weekly worship and ongoing mission. Empower them, Lord, to serve you and to honor you as they work selflessly to glorify you and to make us all your hands and feet in this world. We pray especially this week for our altar guild, who handle and prepare holy things in order to make our church a suitable place to offer our worship to you. Consecrate their hands in their service to you and in their work to make us all vessels to serve. We thank them for serving the church and serving you. Amen. Please join me in saying the general thanksgiving is found on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our recessional hymns number 344, Lord dismiss us with thy blessing.